March 12th, Indecision, 1 Kings 18.21 And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people answered him not a word. When Elijah issued his challenge to the prophets of Baal and Ashtoreth, two groups joined the faithful servants on Mount Carmel. The 850 prophets of those two false gods and the halting multitude. The crowd Elijah cried out to in this passage. Times have changed, but people haven't. Today we have the same three categories of people. Those who are like Elijah have committed their lives to the Lord and serve him actively. Then those that have been given their lives over to evil. They work hard to remove God out of the public sector and march for causes such as abortion and homosexuality. These are people who seek to bury our nation in the slime pits of immorality. The uncommitted stand by and watch as the forces of darkness take over. And then there's the final group, the halting multitude. These are the people who haven't yet made a dis commitment either way. Jesus described these people as being lukewarm, with a nauseating condition. They do nothing at all to stem the tide of evil. Because they stand for nothing, they allow anything. If you have been on the fence, today is a good day to choose a side. Let your choice be Jesus, that your life might be a positive influence for good. Help us, Father, to stand up for righteousness. Give us the same determination, the same enthusiasm that the workers of iniquity have, that we might stand up for Jesus and bring him glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.